Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are well. So today I'm joined by with the one and only Tom Hartley, as you guys may know him from the automotive scene. It's such a big brand that sells so many supercars, classic cars. You know, they've had so many cars from Bugattis, Paganis, and we've also got the Maserati MC20 here too today, which I'll show you guys. So thank you so much for joining me on. Uh, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. It's, uh, it's, nice, to, it's nice to meet you. I love meeting my followers. Um, and I love interacting with followers and um, yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for the time. So we just have a few questions we're gonna ask Tom today. So what was your what was early life for you growing up? How did you sort of enter into the buying and selling supercar scene? Well as you know I've got um, my order book here called the Dealmaker and my life stories in that. However, cut it uh, a long story short, I just liked to buy and sell and, and do deals. My family were in the car business, but for me, buying and selling cars was what I wanted to do. So we just want to understand, because you've sold so many cars in your time, uh, do you remember your first deal that you actually yeah. done, and how hard was it to get that first deal? The first deal I'd done, I was 12 years old, and it was a Range Rover. Range Rover had just come out in 1971, and I uh, sold it for £2,050 brand new. Wow, so that just proves 12 years old and selling Range Rovers, and back in 1971, could you tell my followers how much were uh, Range Rovers? Well, well guys, uh, a new Range Rover today is 125000 so that's uh, a lot of times more than 2,000 pounds. And what was the feeling like for you when you sold your first car and you actually realised that this business was actually working for you? Well, it was it was a buzz, it was like an adrenaline and my wife tells me now, I, st I still have that adrenaline when I do a deal. And that's what I'm about, that's why I'm called the deal maker. Exactly, and that just shows that you need to have a drill in and you need to have that, that buzz inside you when you're, you have ambition. when you're in business and you need to sort of um, have... Dream. Exactly, it just starts with a dream. And you can check out his autobiography. Can you explain the importance of, sort of, uh, for all the youngsters out there, can you explain the importance of working hard? Because Tom started selling, buying and selling cars from 12 years old. Yeah, you've got to, listen, unless you win the lottery, I don't know any of you who's successful. Uh, this gentleman is with me now, he's very successful, he's all right, he's a very global entrepreneur and we're just talking about hard work, how we've achieved what we've achieved in life, we will achieve it from hard work and you know I do these videos about being a lazy bastard, we don't let a bit at 8 o'clock in the morning guys, it's all about what you put into life is what you get out of it. Is there email address to lay press for the yes, lazy Yeah, 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 it's open. <laughs> but listen, you won't achieve, everybody wants to be successful in life, but they don't want to have the problems. Well, being successful in life has problems, but there's more ups than there is downs. Great, well there you go everyone, so these are just some points you could take with you. So, so the next question we have is, what advice would you give to people who are starting off in business, no matter what industry they're in? Don't give up. Simple as that. Don't give up. Stick with your dream. If you want to achieve it, and you will, it's no good having the skill if you haven't got the will. Okay? Good saying. And um, what was it like for you starting off actually? Like, I always ask people on the channel, so obviously, when you start a business, at the start, we all know it's hard. There's going to be trials and tribulations. What was it like for you? Like, did you have what, what sort of trials and tribulations did you go through? Well, everything, everything in life is a challenge. But as I said to you, you mustn't give up. And if you want your dream and you want to battle, if you'll always achieve it. Everything's achievable if you want it. So now that you've sort of, now that you know that uh, the, the Hartley business is a well established business, what is life like for you now? Um, so I, st I still, I still, I'm very, I never get complacent. I love working. I, I'm as hungry now as I've ever been. And I won't do it for the money now, I do it because I enjoy doing it. I don't need to do it, I do it because I want to do it. But I'm so passionate about the name Tom Hartley. As you can see, I wear it. And I, and I I flaunt it everywhere because that's what I do. Cool. And the last question we have today. So we know that you've got so many amazing cars. What's your number plate collection like? Because no one is. Yeah, we've got a lot, lot of number plate collection, but um, my own personal one is TH2 because my father was called Tom Harley. He would be TH1 as far as I'm concerned. So I'd always want to have TH2. Well, there you have it, everyone. Thanks so much for watching today's short video. I want to say a massive thank you for giving me some time today. What I'll do is I'll show you guys the Maserati behind us today. Very rare. Yeah, it's the first Maserati MC20 in London. Wow, there you have it, everyone. Well, listen, guys, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the interview, and uh, thank you very much. Cool. Thank you so much. So, everyone, this is the Maserati MC20 here. Tell me what you guys think about it. Just take a look at the car.
only a few here in London and this is one of the first ones that's actually here today so what an amazing car I'm not really a big fan of Maseratis but this car here it, it does stand out and as you can tell from everyone around it everyone's is loving the car taking photos with it Thank you so much to everyone who watched today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the short interview with Tom Hardy. I will join you guys on the next video.